Hi everyone, welcome. I'm Kerry and I'm going to be continuing with the train and animal series. I'll be doing part six today, showing you how to crochet this panda. You'll need a small amount of white and black cotton or wool. I'll be using four ply crochet cotton. You'll also need a crochet hook, sewing or darning needle and scissors. I'll be using black thread to sew on the nose and mouth here. But you can use fabric paint or whatever you'd prefer. So we'll get started. We'll start with the head and I'm going to make a magic loop. I start as if I'm doing a chain and pull through the loop but I leave quite a big circle instead of pulling it tight. I'm going to do three chain and work 14 double crochet into the circle. A double crochet is yarn around the hook, put your hook in through the circle and pick up a loop, put your yarn around the hook, take it through two, yarn around and pull it through the other two. I'm going to do 14. When you finish the row you pull, grab hold of the tail and pull it as tight as you can and then slip stitch into the third chain. For row two you do three chain and we're going to work two double crochet into each stitch from the previous round. So firstly I'll work a double crochet into the same space as the three chain and then continue around working two double crochet into each stitch. So I'll do that and I'll come back. When you've finished the row we slip stitch into the third chain. Now we do three chain for the beginning of the third row and then we're going to work one double crochet into each of the next two double crochet and then two double crochet into the following double crochet. So one in the next two and then two double crochet in the following stitch. And we're going to repeat that right round. So I'll see you at the end of the row. Now I've finished row three so I join that together with a slip stitch in the third chain and that's the head done. So I'll fasten that one off Now I'm going to do the muzzle. I start with a magic loop and three chain and I'm going to work 14 double crochet into the circle.
I pull the, pull the loop tight and join with a slip stitch. And that's the muzzle done. Now I'll start on the ears, you just join black anywhere you'd like, just in through a stitch. And work two chain. And then work one double crochet in the same stitch as your chain. Into the next stitch, work one treble. A treble is yarn around your hook twice, in through the stitch and pick up a loop, yarn around through two, yarn around through two, and yarn around and through the remaining two. And then the following stitch will do one treble and one double crochet into the same stitch. And then into the next stitch we'll do one half double crochet. So yarn around into the stitch and pick up a loop, yarn around and through all stitches. And that's your ear done. For the second ear we're going to miss six stitches. So into the seventh stitch we'll join our yarn. And we'll just do the same thing. Start with two chain. A double crochet into the same stitch. A treble into the following stitch. Into the next stitch we work one treble and one double crochet and a half double crochet into the following one. And there's how he is done. We'll do the markings on the face now. We're going to start with a magic loop and work two chain, then one double crochet, two single crochet. A single crochet, you just you don't put the yarn around, you just put it in through the circle and pull up a loop and yarn around and go through the two. So we'll work two single crochet, one half double crochet, one double crochet and two single crochet. Then we'll pull our tight and then just slip stitch into the second chain and that's our marking. We need two markings now I'm going to be using my panda for on the train so I would like pause for my panda so I'm going to make my pause out of the black 
I'm going to do a magic loop and work four chain and then four treble into the loop. And pull, a, pull the tail tight. For the following row I'll do four chain and I'm going to work a four treble cluster across the four treble. So yarn round twice into the first stitch, yarn round, take off two and then take off two. So we've still got two left. We're going to get an extra stitch for each one we put it one we do so yarn around again twice pick up a loop yarn around take off two yarn around take off two so now we've got three stitches remaining we go in and do the same into the next stitches When we've done all our stitches, we will go yarn around and pull through all our stitches. And there's our pull. Now I'll make another pour and eye marking and finish off my endings and then I'll be back to show you how to put put your panda together. Now first I'm going to sew the nose and mouth onto my muzzle. So I'm going to just use sewing cotton and start with a little triangle. Start above the circle in the middle and then go just below it and make a triangle. And now I'm just going to fill in my triangle. Now I just put in the mouth, go down to the tip of the triangle and bring the line down. And just sew around for a mouth.
And that's my nose and mouth done. Now I'm going to sew the markings onto the face. They'll go about halfway up with a little gap in between just near the circle and then the muzzle will go over the top like that. I'll sew, sew those on. Yeah. And I'll just sew the other one on the same. But the last thing we do is attach the muzzle. If there's anything you're unsure of, I do have my patterns with photos on my website. The patterns are in US and UK terminology. I also have details on my Pinterest and Instagram accounts there in the description below. So that's a panda finished. I'm not going to attach the paws now. I'll attach them when I join it to the train. So it will join on like this. Next we'll be doing the giraffe. This one here. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and like and share. I'll see you next time. Bye.